I can't stand intros. Hey guys, I hope you're having a super fantastic day wherever you are. Uh, I'd like to start right off at the top apologizing to the uh, 13 or 14 people that watched this uh, video, this version of this video uh, last night, and the one and a half people who left a comment. Yes, one comment and half was uh, being done while it was this video was being deleted. Sorry, Walt, I apologize for that. Whoopsie daisy! <laughs> Uh, the reason I deleted that video was I felt it was a little bit dark and I, I watched it a couple of times. It seemed fine. And then I think it was like the third time it just seemed dark. And uh, I don't know. I, I just didn't want to put a really dark video out. This one seems a little bit better so far, but I haven't uh, done any editing yet. So the Pelican case, 1600. I probably should have picked this up many, many years ago. But anyway, I'm late to the party. What can I say? Do I recommend it? Yes, I'll start right off of the bat. Is it cheap? No. But if you've got a collection of knives and you want them, you know, want to look after them, I think it's it's worth it. Um, especially if you pay, you know, for some of these knives. Uh, I think it's I think I can justify it. Anyways, I personally can. So uh, there are cheaper versions out there, or knockoff versions, or whatever. Uh, verb you want to use and uh, I, I don't know them I I just saw a bunch of uh, reviews on the YouTube like you guys and I just went out and onto Amazon and said okay I'm gonna do this um, where we are there back row from left to right we got a lot of cold steels before uh, we get into some spiderco's second row from the left we're doing a whole bunch of Emerson's before we hit the ZTs then the Benchmades and uh, some Hinderer, Strider, Chris Reeve, and uh, I think Lion Steel perhaps in there. And then on the third row, we got some buck action going on, ending it off with a little, uh, what is that, Ontario Rat number one. And then some Gappage. Hmm, don't know what's going to happen in there. A couple of multi tools, and uh, a spot of XL, a spot of large. Tall War, Tall War, Tall War XL. I think it's Tall Wall XL, or I always get mixed up with those. Um, I think we got the Spartan, we got the Voyager, we got another Emerson Karambit in there, we've got the uh, CRKT Provoke. And let's see if we can do this gently. Ah, yes, my one of my all time favorites is the Cold Steel Recon 1 XL, right next to another one. Oh, they're all my favorite. Okay, who am I kidding? Tie light six inch, and that's the aluminum with the XHP. And then we got some more multi tools, some Swiss Army knives, some Victorian Ox, and some SOG, and some Leatherman. And yeah, um, I do like it. I, I don't really have a problem with this uh, particular case. This one is nice and deep, as you can see. The very first knife on the left in that first row in the back, that is the Cold Steel 4 Max. And yeah, not a problem. Um, I've even got padding at the bottom so it doesn't go too deep. So I do like the depth on these. If you're like me and you like your bigger, harder use type, um, then yeah, not a problem. Uh, clearly, I couldn't put these larger knives in vertically because they would never fit. And I'm still on the fence as to how this is going to play out. Uh, you did see my red backdrop full of the classic slip joints. But part of me wants to put the classic slip joints in here as well. Uh, that means I would probably have to take out these uh, larger uh, folders, but I'm not really sure. Um, let me know what you guys think. Maybe uh, I sort of just kind of center that a little bit. Sorry for that. And uh, yeah, we'll just kind of. I'll just hold something while I'm talking, because I, you know. Oh my. Oh my. You got the sand to give them a grand finale? Oh yeah. Yeah, I better put that back. Let's just be leave him there for now. Oh, let's put him right there. Or there. Yeah, right there. Okay. Um, yeah, so a short video. I just wanted to say that I do like this case. I do recommend it if you are in the market for something like that. And also a recap. Coming up, the video after this one, 
I am still working on that knife. I promised you a video on me making a knife. I did lose a lot of footage, but I've had to rethink it. So I'm at the finished stage, getting closer. So hopefully today, tomorrow, I'll have that knife finished and uh, we'll get that video up. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.